And we had a chance to attend the six-course wine dinner at Luca Italian Chop House in Shalote, North Carolina. The response? Fantastic. The food was so good and the wine was even better. And they're right. Hi, everybody. John Daly here with the Carolina Buzz. And in this episode, we will give you a taste for what you missed, what's coming up, and also a sense of how our region here is becoming a foodie hotspot. Now, for this evening, Luca brought in award-winning and internationally known master chef, Jason Hall. Absolutely. This is my uh, second time doing a wine dinner here at uh, Luca, and it's a great place. Um, we get to have lots of fun. The staff's awesome, and uh, we're going to cook some good food. Yeah, so we have uh, six really cool courses. Everything is extremely seasonal. Uh, we looked at that before we looked at anything. So what could we get fresh? What was local? Um, and we're going to kind of tell that story throughout the food throughout the night when I come out to the tables and kind of discuss everything. But um, we're going to have some foie gras. Uh, we've got some great black truffles that are in season right now. Um, lots of good seasonal root vegetables and fruits as well. So it's going to be a little medley of everything. It doesn't really fit a theme as French or Italian, but it's just uh, what's fresh and flavorful and as local as possible. And that included the main entree, lamb chops, that Master Chef Jason explained right at the table. So we had lamb chops, we butchered them, we seared them, and then chilled them, and we made a sausage of all that trim, packed the sausage of the lamb on top, wrapped it in pork fat, and roasted it in the oven, so we had all that beautiful fatty flavor kind of building together. Um, parsnip puree was the puree on the bottom. Uh, we used the red wine from the sauce. The cipollini onion tart was an idea off of an apple tart, but we did it with an onion. So we took those onions, lots of butter, garlic, balsamic vinegar, lamb stock, veal stock, until it was roasted. We put all that flavor in little ramekins, puff pastry on top, roasted them in the oven, and then turned them out. And I uh, hope it paired well with this wine too. We did add a lot of the wine to the sauce, so thanks so much. And that wine pairing was, thanks to sommelier, Nick Demos. Um, I love working with chefs, especially in this way where I kind of, if you almost like set the artist free, um, basically told the chef to create whatever menu he wanted and I would make the wines work. And so he wrote a menu, sent it to me, and then from there I took it and I said, you know, what are the exact like most perfect wines? Um, and tonight we have happen to be featuring all Italian wines to kind of show exactly like these Italian wines that compare perfectly course by course with every dish. Now, events like this have a huge impact on the region. You know, it just really inspires not only our culinary team, but also our staff to grow. We really strive to bring a new experience to Brunswick County, and we want to make it, you know, a place to remember and kind of get our guests outside of, you know, feeling like they're at home, but somewhere different, whether they're traveling for just a moment and get a real taste of Italy. It just keeps inspiring us to grow and I really hope to give the guests the most memorable event possible. And Brunswick County, North Carolina is upping its culinary reputation. Sommelier Nick says he saw the same thing happening in Western Carolina near Asheville. No, I think that's a great question because I kind of saw Western North Carolina in the same way at one point, like as much as Asheville's known for great restaurants and almost, a, not almost, a destination now. Um, there was certainly a time where it was kind of on a curve and, and, you know, gaining that notoriety. And even more so looking at the areas that are like outside of Asheville, especially further west than Asheville, and to see them develop. So um, I lived in Cullowee, which is about an hour west of Asheville for a long time and service the markets out there. And it was almost the exact same thing. And so like, these are great for development because it's like, it's a way to expose people to wine. It's a way to expose people to pairings. It's also an event that's, you know, really fun. Also, it gives them the moment to like, not have to be committed to an entire bottle or to take a chance on something that like, they just don't know what this is. Where they say, well, you know, I've got this guy here. He's gonna explain it to me. And I'm only married to, you know, X amount of ounces of this, you know, half a glass maybe at most. And I get to have it in its perfect setting. And so I get to understand it you know, it's like the class and the lab, right? It's like you kind of get this uh, theoretical or book smart side of it, but then you also just get to experience it and really understand the most important part of do I like this or not? And events like this also make us consumers more educated.
think this is a great opportunity for people to experience food that kind of pushes them out of their comfort zone also. It's like, I didn't know I was going to like that. And maybe even if it's a course I was, you know, a guest wasn't sure about when it arrived at the table, it's kind of a thing where like, well, I'm here. It is what it is. And like, I'm going to take a bite. And all of a sudden it's like, you've got something new in your wheelhouse that you're like, I didn't know I loved it, but I love it now. I should have been doing this a decade ago. (laughs) Now, don't be upset. You missed this. This is not a one-time experience here at Lucas. We do work hand in hand with them a few times a year. And we strive to just continue to bring again, a new um, wine and food experience to our guests. Now, to find out about future wine dinners at Luca's, go to their Facebook page or go to lucachophouse.com and go to the email sign up and they'll let you know. And if you need to know what's going on in the Carolinas, check us out at the Carolina Buzz on Wingding TV's business channel, offering businesses their own shows along with cutting edge social media and digital marketing with a worldwide reach to millions. Check it out and see if we can help your business tell your story.